Chris and Jody from Love and the Outcome did an awesome job of worship and praise this morning. You got a chance to meet the Shelby customers. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts after meeting them. Oh my gosh, they're amazing people. Uh, so warm and friendly. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing playing rock and roll at 8.30 in the morning, but we started the day off right. Well, you guys did great. And what did you think about the praise and worship time this morning? I think the best way to start the day is with our worship and coffee. Worship and coffee hand in hand. So it was a real special time. Thank you. Well, thanks again. Great job. And now we're going to take a look at some of the highlights of ISC 2017 on the 10-year anniversary of Shelby Podcast. In behalf of everyone at Shelby Systems, we are super excited that you're here. We want to welcome you to Dallas, Texas, and welcome you to ISC 2017. So before we really get into the session this morning, we wanted to take an opportunity to praise an almighty God, to worship Him this morning. So please help me welcome Nathaniel Paris to the stage. I want to hear you on this part singing worthy. And worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquers the great sound good. This year we have over uh, 600 attendees, 600 of us all in this room are here for the next three days. We have people from all over this country, all of the United States, uh, including Alaska. We even have attendees here from Canada and we have two attendees who came all the way from New Zealand. So welcome, welcome. The whole idea of ministry brands for us is really to equip all of you and churches and ministries with tools and platforms and services that are going to help make you more effective. What I have for us today is a talk I've titled, Always Come Back to Why. On the left-hand side is what I would say as a volunteer if the why of ministry wasn't clear. On the right-hand side is what I would say if I did understand and I was energized and motivated. So that frustration, I'm being forced to use a new tool. That sounds like somebody who doesn't quite understand the purpose of what we're doing. If I'm energized and on board, I would say maybe something like, you know, if this tool helps the church fulfill the vision, I'm in, sign me up. Um, instead of it doesn't work, I might say something like, you know, I wonder if there is another or better way. You know, technology isn't perfect every day. Let me try again in a few minutes. I'll be patient with this, hard to use. That's a common one, I'm gonna give up. If I, but if I'm motivated for that vision and the why behind what we're doing, I would say, you know what? It is hard for me to learn. I'm not the most technology inclined person but if I get stuck, I'll ask for help because I believe in where we're going. So your challenge and my challenge when we go back to our staff and our volunteers is to do a good job of setting that vision and talk about the why. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Come on, let's worship together. We can put our hands up. Let's do it. Come on. my first time to come to the International Shelby Conference and I believe that Brad Hill's opening statement in the opening ceremonies about really understanding our why and why we're here set the tone for all the sessions that I attended. I love the, the Shelby Conference, uh, the, the content has been amazing, learned so much about uh, the product that we're, we're wanting to use uh, but also made a great friend too. It's amazing how you uh, come to a conference not expecting and then uh, you meet somebody that is just like you, somebody that has, shares the same interests, same passions in ministry and so uh, meeting my mate Rob here has been one of the highlights of the conference for me. This is my first Shelby conference. I've been using V5 for 10 years and I have learned so much this week. I am so incredibly excited to go back and utilize all the things that I've learned. I'm so uh, over joy to see the your developers express and explain different aspects of the system and how we can create modules 
uh, to augment the system for our use and for our needs. This is my fifth Shelby conference and this year was the first year I took a hands-on class. So what I really liked was that motor memory that I'm going to take back with me as I learn how to do workflows. We were here was to learn more about Shelby and Arena and we found a partner uh, in the out in the vendor booths that's going to help us tremendously in the next month, month and a half, get some huge projects done that's affecting the pathway of how guests engage with our church. Um, I normally work a lot outside of church, but in here I realized, man, this is awesome. And I got to uh, meet a lot of people and got to really learn Arena. And I realized this is a great system. Like, I am so proud that we're using this in our church. Well, Shelby Conference has been a blast. We've learned so much about the program, but we've also had a chance to get out and try some good old Texas barbecue. Love the worship in the morning. That's a great way to start your day. So it's been great.